Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're jumping into brows. I'm using precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. Starting at the tail of the brow, just filling it in pretty lightly. I've been loving this. You guys know if you watch my favorites, you know that this is my go-to right now. So I'm just lightly filling in the front and then just blending it with the spool on the end and just filling in a natural brow. I've just been really into the natural brow lately. Uh, I used to really, really fill them in super thick. And I don't know, you know, I go back and forth, bold to natural and back again. So I'm just going to set the brows with the 24 brow setter by Benefit as well, just kind of flicking the hairs up. And then I'm going to conceal the brows with Max Studio Fix Concealer. I used to use this all the time and I ventured my way back to, to it. So I've just been loving this product. I love when I re-fall in love with products again. It's just really, really awesome. So I'm just going to highlight the brow bone with this and clean up everything. And then I'm going into the P. Louise base and I'm just blending this out with my finger. My eyes are super, super dry right now. So I really didn't want to blend it out with a packing brush or anything like that. So I just wanted to blend it with my finger and the warmth of my finger just helped it blend very well. So today's palette is the Chill Baby palette by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm loving the packaging and actually really loving the palette. I'm using Make Magic for their transition color and I'm using a Jaclyn Hill brush from the Master Collection. I will put everything down below and I'm just blending this out on the crease and on the outer lid. This color by itself is so pretty and I love it just to kind of run out in. It's really, really, really nice. I feel like with some mascara or even like a little bit of a wing liner, it would look gorgeous by itself. But we're going to layer this on about two layers. I feel like I really put on the eye to make it a little bit more opaque and a little bit more gray, but we're going to make sure that we blend out the edges so they're nice and soft. So I'm just lightly, lightly going in circular motions, windshield wiper motions, all the motions to blend this out. Now I'm taking an E25 and we're going into Hello Winter, which is a super deep, deep eggplant purple. And we're gonna go on the outer V. We're gonna blend this out in circular motions and kind of smoke it out, make it nice and sultry and kind of like tap a little bit around the upper crease so it's nice and blended like I said before. And we're just gonna kind of reach the middle of the eye. Now taking Mrs. Claus, I'm taking an E58 from Sigma and I'm just slightly wetting the brush with some Fix Plus and putting this on the inner lid, kind of going up to the crease, a little above the crease actually, and you know, just blending this out. This is such a crazy pretty color. It's like a blue brown, but then it has this gray tinge and then it goes light. It's just, it's a crazy color changing color, literally. So I'm just going to press this in and then smoke out the outer V. For mascara, I'm using a new one. It's the Grandiose Mascara by Lancome. I've never really tried it. And it really does lift your lashes crazy. So if you're looking for something to give you insane lift, I would definitely suggest this mascara. I've been trying to, you know, get out of my comfort zone with a lot of products and this one was really good. I was actually really happy to try it. And now a new lash by Gigi Bell Lashes. These are Victoria, which is named after my sister. And we are just gonna pop these babies on with some House of Lashes glue. I am not positive when these will be launching. I'm trying to get them ready ASAP. So I'm hoping for March. I'm really, really, really hoping for March, but we will see. It's kind of um, a little crazy right now. So I'm just trying to get these out, but I really was in love with these and I feel like you guys would just love them because they are just so fluffy and gorgeous and uh, I just want them to be here. So I'm trying the hardest to get them out to you guys and to get them ready for a launch. So I will let you guys know when they will be available, but how beautiful are they? Now starting the face, I'm using Smashbox Primerizer. This has been my favorite forever. And I'm putting this all over my face because damn, my skin is dry. I'm using NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona. I'm using a 3D HD Max Kabuki Brush by Sigma, putting this on. I am absolutely loving this foundation. This is the first time I tried it in this video and it was really, really great. I went on a date that night and it stayed really nice. The guy didn't think I had too much makeup on, <laughs> I hope. And yeah, no, it just looked really, really nice on the skin. I really was happy with it. 
and it's just a really beautiful natural and good coverage I mean I really have nothing bad to say about it I was really happy with it I used it a couple times this past week and I really really enjoyed it I'm using the KKW Beauty Concealer in 8. I saw this on Instagram. I have it. I've had it for a while. I don't remember why I like wasn't obsessed with it, but right now I've been loving it. So I wish I remembered why I didn't really give it a chance, but now I'm giving it a chance and I'm happy I am. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer over it to just kind of give it a brightening effect because I only did get one color and the 8 is a good color to conceal, but I feel like to brighten... I needed the NARS. So I'm just blending this out with the quickie blending sponge. I don't know why I'm out of breath. Oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> It sounded like I just ran a marathon, but I'm literally sitting in chair. So I don't know what's happening. I'm going to be using Patrick's powder by MAC to set the face. And I'm just kind of pressing it in the under eye area and then, you know, kind of baking it a little bit towards the nose. And I'm also going to press it into the smile lines and on the forehead as well. I'm going to contour it a little bit and give myself a little bit of a shaping underneath there and just kind of baking it there. And then for bronzer, I've been loving the Kylie Toasty Bronzer. This is new. It's absolutely amazing. I've been loving the way this goes on. I'm using an F23 brush by Sigma and this bronzer is just really, really beautiful. It's perfect for contouring. I like to actually really use it for contour and then kind of go in with another bronzer to kind of heat things up if I need to. But it does look really, really beautiful and it applies like butter, so I'm loving it. And yeah, so I love that I could also use it for contour too. That's what I really, really like because it's not too orange. It's like the perfect neutral color. So I'm just going to kind of put some on my nose a little bit <laughs> and just blend that out. And I'm just softly blending this all out on the cheeks because honestly I packed on this bronzer and I didn't feel like it was getting weird or too much color or too cakey. It honestly just blends really, really nice and I'm so excited to have another favorite bronzer. I'm taking a Laura Mercier large powder brush and I'm just going to contour my nose a little further and just blend it out with the quickie blending sponge as well. And then we're going to go into blush, which is also Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Kitten Baby Blush, which is a beautiful little pink apricot blush. And I'm just using a Marc Jacobs blush brush to do that. I'm going to wipe away all of the excess powder we have going on around here with an F37 by Sigma. And I'm going to take Just Chill with a pencil brush from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. And I'm just going to blend this on the lower lash line. And smoke it out a little bit and then I'm gonna take a jingle baby and I'm gonna use a 2.7 by Samey and kind of put this in the inner corner and pack it in there how gorgeous is that I'm gonna put some more Lancome grandiose mascara on the lower lashes and you know make that nice and long I love the brush for the lower lashes it's honestly really really great it grabs them really nice it grabs all the lashes really really nice so I'm using another Kylie Cosmetics highlighter in Queen Drip, and I'm using an M501 brush for this. What a beautiful color. I'm sorry. I'm so obsessed with the powders and the highlighters and the br blushes right now by them. I need to get more. I only got three because I was in Vegas, and I wasn't sure, like, what colors exactly to get, so I kind of just got, like, ones that I thought were really pretty and would go great with my skin tone. So this Queen Drip is beautiful. It's, like, a pink gold and I'm loving it, yes. I'm just going to curl my lashes, just kind of smush my natural lashes and the lash band together. Kind of helps it look a little more natural. And for lips, again, <laughs> Kylie Cosmetics. I hope you guys don't get annoyed by that. But I'm using Dolce K. You guys know if you watch my favorites video, these were my favorite liners of the year and they still are obviously starting in the new year i'm obsessed with these liners i really really can't stop using them so i'm using dolce k i'm filling in the whole lip and then i'm using baby it's cold outside the lip set from her winter collection i'm using small wonder on the lips this is a matte formula and i'm pretty sure these are reformulated and i'm loving the new formula very very smooth and it doesn't feel too drying. I don't feel like my lips are like, you know, crying for a gloss because I feel like that did happen sometimes with her old ones. But I've been loving this color and it's, and this formula, it's just really, really great. 
I'm using Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray to set. And then I wanted to use Snowball because I felt like I wanted a little bit of pop in the center of the lips. And this is also from the Baby, Baby It's Cold Outside collection. And it's really, really, really pretty. It's this beautiful white gold. And with this lip, it's really nice. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. It's a little out of my comfort zone. It's a little color on the lips. It's a little bit of a cool tone eye. So I feel like, you know, I hope you guys really liked it. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I do have another tutorial coming out in the next couple of days. So be on the look for that. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs it up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.